I was in a coffee shop actually just a couple of weeks ago and a person that I have quite a few conversations with about the Christian faith, he says to me, George, you know, I haven't wanted to say this to you, but really I think your position's quite ridiculous. I mean, how on earth do you possibly think that your words can capture and describe God, like who he is and how big he is? Like, I think that's just completely and utterly impossible. And, um, you know, he smiled at me because, I, you know, on one level he liked me, but he also thought he got me. And I said to him, I completely and utterly agree with you. In fact, Christians agree with you. Christians believe that it's completely and utterly impossible for finite human beings with their rituals, their ideas uh, to come and know God. And the Christian claim isn't that somehow or another we have like the best poets, the best philosophers, the best mathematicians, the best scientists, the best nothing, everything. It's nothing like that. We don't believe that our thoughts can capture God. We believe that God revealed himself. You know, really, ultimately, only God can know himself. And we believe that God revealed himself to human beings. Now, it's some of the other priorities as to why we would come to a belief, something like that, but that's the central Christian claim, that when we read the Bible, uh, when we listen to the Bible being read, we are listening to God speaking to us. And speaking is so important in relationships. You see, we're not just concerned about people coming to know the Bible as if it's somehow or another God. It's, it's about knowing God and being known by God, by being in a relationship with God through faith in Jesus Christ. You know, I, I have kids, I have friends, I have my wife. If, if it was just the case that my wife would speak to me once a year or, you know, she spoke to me on our wedding day and then after that she doesn't speak to me, <laughs> we would be divorced. <laughs> the relationship really wouldn't work, right? Speaking is so important for people. And so why is this thing so important for Anik? Well, it's because when we hear the Bible, we hear God speaking to us. They're God's words. He revealed himself to us, and we need to have him speaking into our lives and into our church's lives. So you see, really, at the end of the day, Charles Spurgeon might, might or might not have ever heard of him, but he had a very famous way of describing Christians, that Christianity is just one beggar telling another beggar where to find bread. Friends. We're beggars. <laughs>